uh, Saturday. Here's my pickups. I'm kind of doing it inside the car because it's kind of rainish today. It's not really bad, but I just it, everything we get like wet. Uh, anyway, I spent seventy-one dollars, and um, there wasn't really a lot to buy. Not a lot of the stuff I normally like to buy, but I'll just go through it. I got like one video game. I'm gonna do this first though because I want to do kind of in a, 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 a pat. I got three. Um, Uh, Majestic Sport Church. See, I think these are from the 90s. This is Giambi. I forget his first name. Um, this one I bought. I got three for ten, so they're very cheap. This one, I missed, did not notice the stains here. But um, it says genuine <laughs> merchandise, so I, I guess it's legit. Um, and then I got a... Uh, hmm, I didn't really notice the, the pulls on... Oh, <laughs> anyway, this one is in pretty good shape. I see some pulls. Okay, well, I only paid three for ten, and I think they sell in the price range of twenty-five to thirty-five. This one is uh, Damon, not Matt Damon, <laughs> someone else. I'm not a sports guy, so this for me, I'm experimenting. I, I checked the prices. I recognize this player right away, uh, Ken Griffey Jr., and uh, this is when he was with uh, the Reds, and it's, it's the same thing. This might be the one that's in the nicest shape. And this one, I'll take it to a flea market. I'll try and get like 15 at the very least. And then, I'll, and then I'm up. Well, this one may go online. It's probably worth like 30 bucks. All right, so, so that's that. Um, I get these candle holders occasionally. These will only sell online. Uh, this is by a glass. It's Italia, and I think it might be Tapio Wicala. Sometimes they're signed on the bottom. Yeah, this one's signed on the bottom. You can't really see it. I, I, actually, it's Timo Scarp, Scarpi, I think. It's really hard to see. I might be wrong. It might not be signed. But if it is, it would be a TS. I'll look at it more carefully later. But I know who it is. It's Italia Glass. These candle holders come in different sizes. The they're smaller ones like this are like 25, 30. The bigger ones, like about about 8 inches, they're about like 40, whatever. And the big ones can be like 50, 60, 70. Um, prices bounce around on that you know they're not widely uh, sought after but I have a bunch of them in the house somewhere I just got to find them and this is the only jewelry we found today this I paid 15 for and this is a sterling silver ball necklace uh, this is going online um, added 16 the wife paid 15 um, it should sell 75 to 100 online this I bought. She wasn't really crazy about this. I think this is Marvella. Faux Pearl Marvella. I only paid $3. And I bought something else with it. I don't remember. That was another $2. It might be in that bag over there. I gotta find it. This is Sterling Silver. It was a dollar. And this is probably, will be one of the easier pieces to sell. This is, this is Hallmarked RLM. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. it it's so kind of drab out. Okay. Uh, it'll say, R, it says 925 RLM China. And then something else. The glasses I'm wearing aren't really powerful enough, but it's right where my thumbnail is, right? Um, this RLM stands for Robert Lee Morris. He's a, an, an important um, jewelry fashion designer from like the 80s, um, 90s, maybe earlier. Uh, maybe he's alive today. I don't really know. But I, I, I know the name Robert Lee Morris. I, I've had some of his men's rings before. Um, this, is, this is online right now about 50 bucks. Um, we're going to put it for 40 bucks. Buy it now. And just put it straight in our eBay store. All right. Let me put this here. All right. I'm going to do two videos. Let me do this. This I bought with the uh, necklace uh, for a dollar. And the lady was like, oh, um, the lady selling it was like, oh, I would buy this off you for five. I mean, nah, I want to keep it. I mean, this is actually the Swamp Thing. It doesn't look like the Swamp Thing that I know of when I was young. They changed them up. But for a dollar, you know, it has a little ear issue. My, I'm getting, it's raining on me a little bit. Uh, but for a dollar, I didn't care. And the lady was like, I'd buy it back, for, I'd buy it from you from a dollar. And I'm like, nah, I'll just, you know, because I didn't know what, what she was thinking. Her motive. I got these, Daryl, I'm going to, oh, for Christ's sake. Open it up, upside down. I got two, I a sale for $10. I got what's in this bag. This is empty, but I think some of the stuff that's in here goes in here for sure and I just I, I had to dig through a bucket and I pulled everything out. Daryl I'll just give this stuff to you if you want to 
maybe the Star Wars is worth money. Maybe this. I don't know. You know, it was everything was ten bucks. I don't know what this car is for. It's battery operated. It says Star Explorer. Beats me. Um, empty box. Here's a. Uh, this looks like a Transformer type dude, but I don't know if it's legit. It might be fake. You know. I just pulled out like random toys. Like this was in parts. This is some kind of dino transformer. Might be part of the transformers that, you know, I'm weird with toys. I don't really, this wasn't my generation. I mean, I know obvious stuff. I don't know who this dude is with his half helmet on. I don't know why his, they made it with his helmet is half on. I don't, oh no, it comes off, okay. Uh, beats me. But stuff like this, I'll sell at the flea market a buck or two bucks. Here's some kind of, oh, this is a go, it says GoBot on it. That might be something, but it looks like he's missing an arm at least. I just took all the toys out and said, how much, you know? See, here's, here's another <laughs> All right, the real reason, and look, there's like something, oh yeah, stuff is breaking off of this one while I'm showing it. See, look, it just, as I'm showing it, just this little thing broke right off. Lord. Uh, here's a leg to this. Okay, he might be mostly complete if I can figure out how to get the leg. It should just pop right on. Yeah, okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, but there were some metal transformer cars. Oh, okay, here. There was one more piece of jewelry. Oh, uh, no, it wasn't jewelry. It's a uh, Waterford crystal, and it's like a snowflake ornament. It was only two bucks. Christmas is coming. It's 1988. That would make the person who bought this like 30 years older, I guess, right? 88, 98, 18. Wait a minute. 88 to 98? Yeah, that's like 30 years old. So, if they gave it to a baby, he'd be a 30-year-old baby. Now, see, okay, these are like mixed metal transformers. These are probably the better ones. This is missing something on the top. It looks like it's broken off. I don't know. I, was, I guess these are Power Rangers. Got a big gun. Uh, and I just grabbed random stuff. Just Hot Wheels. Like I said, I just grabbed the pile. And she's like, girl, oh, just give me ten bucks. This is kid something. Uh, I'm spending too much time on this stuff. Okay, this is another transfer. There's there's a couple in here that were better. though. Here. No. That's just a uh, matchbox. Okay. This one is a transfer. I, uh, that's probably, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bumblebee. And this one looks pretty good, and it has metal parts in it. So I know the ones that ha that are metal are older. I think it says Jasper. Oh God! All right. Let's see. And then there's here's another transformer car. I might put this stuff in my showcase. You know, I'll figure out how they set up, and I'll set them up. And then here's another one. So this is really why I kind of I just wanted to make a big mash. I didn't want to just pull the transformers out and have her say. Well, those are Transformers. See, this guy's kind of in parts and pieces. And uh, I don't know what those are. Helmet. That's Hot Wheels, airplane, car. So stuff like that I'll sell for a dollar. Um, let me see. I'm just going to put this stuff back in here. Daryl, you're getting the star. I'm just straight out giving it to you. It would be too annoying for me to deal with. So here I go. Just This will take me a second, everybody. While I'm doing this, uh, I'll do shout-outs. Shout out to my friend, to Nas, to uh, AJ, Video Gamer Daryl, Bargain Barons, who I've been talking to a lot lately. Very nice people, very good videos. Check them out. Um, shout outs to, uh, oh, here's a guy I've been talking to, Scrapping Pallet Man. He's pretty good. Uh, someone else. Um, I've been doing a lot of shout outs. There's like, I've been watching Scrapper videos lately. So, like, I've been watching, um, what's his name a lot? Um, Taco Stacks. Uh, Tucker Upper, I've been watching him. Um, then there's another guy, um, Scrap Vulture. I watch him. He's, he's interesting because he rides around a bike, on a bike. But I've been watching other people that, that buy and sell. Um, all right. Okay, now, oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I did live hunting. And I'm just going to tie that stuff in together. Here's some more toys. I bought these at a different yard sale. Uh, they were like three for a dollar. 
Okay, I managed to not drop it. This is, uh, I think it's some kind of He-Man. I'm not really sure, you know. He's some kind of helicopter. The paper on the bottom's not in great condition. There's some kind of spinny thing in his butt. And his, his head spins, which I don't know how somebody could survive that. But whatever. Imagine kids going, I want to be like head spinny man. And like breaking their neck. Okay, that's nothing. I'll throw that in this bag. I got to load the car. That's my next mission. Um, I know I'm, I'm showing some stuff that's good and nonsense, but I only paid 70 bucks. And probably that the thing that will sell right away is that Robert Lee Morris thing, I believe. Oh, Daryl, I got these for you. These were $2 for the three. Um, you can lot them. They're pretty much sealed. So whatever you get for them. I know they're probably like 10 or so dollars. Some of this I might take to the flea market tomorrow. I don't really know. Uh, this I'll probably stick in my showcase. This is like made by or made for Target. I don't know about if it's an exclusive or anything like that. But it's a Yoda. In my showcase... I was talking to one of the guys, he says, oh, there's a kid that just loves anything Star Wars. So this is kind of a cool Yoda. I only paid a dollar. If it's not worth that much, I'll probably just put it in for like five bucks. And just, it's like, it's pocket, it's money to just pay the, the rent and then, tr and then maybe I'll sell something good and make some serious money. This, I've seen these around. It's on a marble base. It's Italian. Something Carrera marble, don't know, but it says something here. Let me see if I could, something Italy. Hold on. It looks like the same kind of people who make um, Deposé, Italy. So that means made in Italy, if you did not know that. It looks like the same people that make um, the nativity stuff, but I don't know. Anyway, I, I actually went to Goodwill, and I'm going to do a different uh, video uh, going into Goodwill. And um, maybe I'll make another video just showing the stuff I got at Goodwill. But uh, this was like five bucks. Yeah, I didn't get any half price stuff. This I'll put in my showcase. If this is worth like 20, 30 bucks on eBay, I only paid five, I'll put it in my showcase for like 10 bucks. Um, this I bought at a yard sale. These, this is an old uh, Virgin Mary. Um, this is like a salt sculpture. These were made in Italy. There's no labels on it, but I kind of know what it is. I only paid a dollar for it. I'm going to sell it for like five, five to ten dollars. You know, not a lot. Um, here's, what else did I get at Goodwill? I bought this. Oh, I bought that that um, Itala. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, the the Itala candlestick, and then I bought something else. Oh, I bought the Marion Sonic. Okay, that a bunch of Wii games not behind the counter. These are two very. This is an old doll. I think it says made in West Germany. I didn't even pay a dollar for it. I bought it with this. Uh, and this is also an old one. And something happens with the skirt here. It's like a hard celluloid plastic. I don't normally buy this stuff, but I. It might. It's kind of a balancing thing, if you notice. It kind of like rocks. I'll try and figure out what that is. If this is worth like 30 bucks or something like that, I'm going to put it on eBay. If it's worth like 8 to 10, I'll put it in my showcase for like 5 or less. Same for this. Maybe I'll put them together. I don't know. Um, this, the clown and the candle holder, is what I got at Goodwill. You can probably recognize the tag. Um, it was 5 bucks. It's probably like a $10 game. I'll just take that right out. Uh, Here's some CDs I got at a yard sale. Uh, best of, and these were 50 cents a piece. So, Best of Arlo Gun 3. Uh, Guthrie. Arlo Guthrie. Best of Arlo Guthrie. Green Day Dookie. Green Day sells, apparently, lately. Dennis Leary. I might give this to a friend. Uh, he does... Uh, I'll do a shout for him. Impersonation Films. Um, check his channel. That's Nick. Nicky Voices Petito. Uh, he does a stand-up. And he's he's uh, aspiring actor. He's been in uh, some movies. Nothing major yet. Um, although he did, actually, if you want to see his, the movie he made, it's called Halloween Obsession. He loaded the whole video on YouTube. Um, I didn't, I wasn't in the movie, but people I know were all in the movie. Uh, he said he might have put me in, but he didn't need me. doesn't matter. Uh, Jimmy Buffett, but if you want to check out him, subscribe to him too. Subscribe, everybody I name, I want you to subscribe to. And watch their videos. And, and thumbs up their videos. Mighty Mighty Boston's. Oh, and watch the ads and click the ads. So they make money. More Mighty Mighty, mighty Boston's. Those CDs were 50 cents a piece. I'm almost done. And then I'll do a separate video. Um, at one yard sale, I got a little bit of art. That's $3. It's signed. I cannot... It's like pencil sign. It's it's Asian. I don't... I, it looks Japanese. It's uh, signed. It's got a, the chop. It's, it's signed K something. So something something. Uh... Her something O K. I see an A. I see a maybe an A and an O. I don't know. I'll figure it out. 
This is looks 70s. Maybe it's it's good. I have no clue with that though. This I was able to find the artist right away. Um, William M O N I N E T Moninet Moninet William Moninet Moninet something like that Moninet William Moninet maybe if he's if he's I don't know maybe he's French. Um, it's two clowns abstract uh, painting. He paints clowns. Uh, there's a bunch of them on eBay. Prices range from 25, maybe for very teeny ones. I don't know. I don't know what this size sells for. Up to over a thousand. Uh, mine is probably 50 to 100 dollar range on eBay. If I put it on eBay, I wouldn't put it for less than like 100, and I would let it sit. It doesn't really have the frame. It's got part of the frame. It needs the outer part. I'm probably going to put it in the showcase. If I think it's only like 25 to 50 on eBay, I'll put it in the showcase. All right, uh, that's everything I got. I, th I already did my shout outs. Um, watch the next video I load after this because I'm going to include this video, but I'm going to do live hunting and I don't, I'm, I'm not really putting all the live hunting in this first video because it takes me forever and I want this video to get out. Also, uh, sorry, I almost forgot. Uh, I'm going to be at Bergenfield High School JC Promotions Flea Market tomorrow. If you want to find me there, if you want to see me, that's where I'll be. Um, I'll be selling like games, CDs, random stuff. I haven't decided whatever fits in this space of the car. Uh, basically, and, and maybe on the floor over there. Um, uh, that's it. Uh, goodbye, everybody. If you come to Bergenfield uh, High School, JC Promotions, I'll see you tomorrow.